This video contains sexual and adult discussions and content. Once again, I will be talking about mature topics in this video. If you do not think you can handle these topics, please click off the video now. Sword Art Online is a really, really bad show. One of the only things the majority of the anime community agree upon is that Sword Art Online is really bad. But nobody can agree on when it got bad. Some people say it was always bad, some people say it got bad in the Alzheimer's arc, and some people like Mother Basement say it got bad when Yui died. All of those opinions are perfectly valid, but today I want to tell you when I think SAO actually became the worst anime ever. SAO originally presented itself to the fans as a sci-fi romantic fantasy about teenagers being trapped in a video game that in virtual reality, where if they die in the game, they'll die in real life. Honestly, I would show the first arc of SAO to a 13 year old. There isn't anything too bad besides for a couple of fan service scenes, but that's typical in anime. There are two scenes in the fairy dance arc where Asuna and Yuki is sexually assaulted. Now, I am not against somebody showing rape in storytelling. However, it has to be essential to the story. It has to be important. Having unnecessary rape or sexual assault of any kind in a story is horrible. There is a scene in the fairy dance arc when Astrida escapes her prison and she's trying to get out. And she is apprehended by these two tentacle monsters that sexually assault her. She could easily have been apprehended by Stugo or another normal human that wasn't super rapey and creepy and didn't sexually assault Asura. The scene was completely unnecessary and was just there to show up Asura's body as they sexually assaulted her. But this scene wasn't what broke me. Not by any means. While this scene is appallingly bad, there is a scene that is worse, which is the other assault scene that we are going to talk about in a minute, but I think it's important to establish that this scene that we are about to talk about is not all that it makes SAO bad. SAO was already a really bad show, but this is what made it, in my opinion, the worst anime ever. There is a scene during the final battle where Kirito is on the ground, he's been taken out, and Hugo goes and he rips Asuna's clothes off and he almost rapes her. Flat out, on screen, he almost rapes Asuna. The problem with this scene that makes it so god awful is the fact that Dugo, when he is like tracing his hand over her body and getting ready to rape her, it is presented in a way that it is almost as if we are supposed to be enjoying it. This scene is presented like fan service. Like we should be enjoying watching Dugo rape Asuna. And it is so unbelievably disgusting and out of place in the context of this show, it is mind-blowing. SAO, so far in the show, has not presented itself as that kind of show that has rape in it, that portrays rape, that has sexual assault, that has characters dying. That's not the kind of show it presents itself as, and it doesn't present itself like that after this either. There's just this rape scene shoehorned in there. The extra material sex scene between Asuna and Kirito that Rekikawa Horror released didn't even get put into the anime because it was a sex scene. So why was this in there? This is basically a sex scene, and it has no place in this kind of show. The issue I have with this, that I think makes this so bad, is that it glorifies Asuna's rape. The guy is about to rape Asuna, and it glorifies it. And it is dick. Disgusting, hard to watch, their thumb is impossible, and it's just not comfortable. The scene is clearly fan service. We are meant to enjoy watching this 30 something year old guy go and about to near rape this teenage girl. Beyond the fact that they're glorifying sexual assault, it also doesn't make a lot of sense with the narrative. Asuna is the main character Kirito's girlfriend. Why would we want to see our hero girlfriend get raped? That doesn't make sense. This would be like in, say, Dragon Ball, if Goku died 
and they had happy-go-lucky music playing and made it out to be this big, grandiose occasion. Your main character is dead. This isn't good. They're portraying something that narratively is negative as positive. In this very scene, Kirito is screaming at Sugo to stop it, telling him how wrong this is. This event where the villain is doing the most evil thing he had done in the entire season is portrayed as positive. This scene is borderline pornography and it's incredibly uncomfortable to watch. If I want to watch something like this, there are anime for that. However, SAO is not one of those anime. Nobody goes to SAO to see somebody get sexually assaulted, to see sexual content, to see things like this. People go to SAO because they think it's cool, because they like the concept of the nerve gear and virtual reality, the fights are good, the animation is pretty, because they like the romance between Kirito and Asuna. Nobody goes into SAO expecting to see something like this happen. And to be completely honest with you, I'd probably like this scene a lot more if it was well directed. This was some horrific horrible thing with it being made clear how bad what's happening is, I would probably be like, okay, not my thing, but this is part of the story. But they portray it positively, like we should be rooting for the main villain. But what is the difference between this scene and, say, the one where Yui dies and Kirito suddenly becomes a programming master and saves her life and destroys all the tension in the show? What makes this scene so bad? Well, the issue is, all those other scenes were just really bad content to watch. I could just turn it off and be like, oh my god, that was bad. I could even laugh at it. I can sit there, watch an episode of SAO and make fun of it. That's actually what I did with Sword Art Online Original Scale. I just made fun of it the whole time, and I actually had a lot of fun watching it. I was making fun of it almost treating it like a meme. But the scene where Sugo basically almost near rapes Asuna is offensive. That scene took me out of the show and actually made me offended. It made me uncomfortable. It made me disgusted with what I was watching. It betrayed what the feel of the show was, which was a fun sci-fi romance adventure show. It betrayed that and it turned it into a borderline pornography, and that's not what I want to see in it. It offended me as a viewer, and actually made me uncomfortable watching the content. I know there are anime with stuff like this in it, but those anime normally make that apparent from day one, what you're getting into. Normally they don't just like 18 episodes in, start having one of the female characters get nearly raped, and glorify it. If they're going to be the kind of series that it going to show rape, and had glorify rape and glorify these things, they're going to make it very clear so the audience can, if they want to, stop watching. There was nothing before this scene to indicate SAO would have a scene like this. There was no reason to think we would have a scene where Kirito had to sit on the ground and watch as the 35 psychopath monster nearly raped his wife. The scene was out of nowhere, and it wasn't necessary. You easily could have had Sugo stab off Suna through the stomach a couple times, or beat the crap out of her with his hand, just beat her up, punch her in the face, give her some black eye. You could have easily had her physically be abused by him in a non-sexual manner if you wanted to make him look evil. A villain doesn't need to be a rapist. To be evil. The scene is disgusting and not enjoyable to watch at all. And that is the problem. The scene is offensive. None of the other things in this show that make it bad actually morally offend me. This does. If you want to watch hentai content like this, go watch a hentai. Don't put this in a show that's supposed to be fun and exciting. Exciting. This scene being offensive, it was separate Sword Art Online from something like Fairy Tale, which I just hate because the writer isn't very good at what he's doing. He's a bad writer and he doesn't know what he's doing and it's fun to hate Fairy Tale. Let's be honest, hating Fairy Tale is fun. Hating this part of SAO isn't fun because you turn around and you're actually offended. But this scene is offensive and I think that's what makes it so bad. It's actually offensive. 
Not offensive because it's bad writing. Offensive because the content in it is so immoral and disgusting. It's not fun to watch. But guys, this is why I think this is the worst anime ever. I think Sword Art Online is the worst anime of all time. I haven't seen anything that comes close to being as bad as it. If you had something worse that isn't straight up hentai, please tell me in the comments. And when did you think SAO became the worst anime ever? When did you think this show actually got bad? Because as I said earlier in the video, some people have been saying it was bad since the beginning. Some people say it got bad when the first arc ended. And some people say it didn't get bad until like a little bit into the second arc. But tell me when you think it got bad in the comments. If you liked the video, leave it a like. And subscribe for more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed, and above all else, guys, have a great day.